I wanted to create this tutorial for anyone who has a blurry logo showing up the top of their website. Now this is going to be a tutorial just based on WordPress, but if you're using uh, Weebly, Wix, Squarespace or another website builder, then if it can accept having SVG format files uploaded into the header image, um, then you can actually use this technique as well. So what can happen is people come in to say Canva or they're getting a designer to create their logo. And then when I come to download it, if I download that as a PNG, sometimes even if you do it in a really large size and you think to yourself, oh, it's just gonna scale it down, it's gonna be really still crisp and clear for you, um, that cannot happen. So it, it does vary across all the website builders. But the thing that you need to do is when you're about to download within Canva, or you can ask your designer to do this, you need to download that as a SVG, transparent background. And in this case, I've done one image that has a black wording, and then the other one is a white wording down there. Click on this and click on done to be able to download that. And then download. So that's going to download to my computer. Then going across into your WordPress site, what you're going to be wanting to do first is go into plugins over on your left hand side and you're going to add a new plugin. And so there's a plugin called SVG Support. It's got about, at the moment, it's got about 900,000 installations. Um, you want to download that and then you want to activate that. Then you want to refresh your um, WordPress dashboard so that when you want to go and upload this it doesn't have an error that it's an unsupported file type. So once you've done that you've downloaded SVG support, activated it, refreshed your dashboard then you can come to say media library you can drag in your SVG file and you're not going to get that error that's telling you that it doesn't support this particular file type. So you can either drag it into here or what you can do in this particular theme, um, there is a section. So if you've got like theme options or something similar to that based on your theme, it might be the name of your theme over in this left hand um, dashboard sidebar. Then what you can do, I can remove out the old logo and I'm going to go upload. You can see that that one has uploaded over there. Select, upload, come back over, select, then save changes. Now this is going to vary depending on your theme, whether you can actually upload it in this particular way. There are going to be times that you're in WordPress and you go into appearance, customize. Um, that's going to take you to the home page of your website and on the left hand side is where you're going to be able to add in your logo. So now that we've added in those logos, you can see here that is showing as crisp and that's going to show in that particular way because SVGs can be sca they're scalable without actually losing um, the clarity of the image or the logo. Um, so that's going to show really nicely, really crisp and clearly on all devices. So just a quick run through again of those steps. Go into Canva, make sure you download and choose that SVG option. Generally for logos you're going to be choosing a transparent background option as well. Download that to your computer, then come over to your WordPress, install, install the plugin, activate the plugin, refresh your page, media library, add in your logo, and then get that added in either via the theme options over on the left hand side here, or appearance customized to be able to add that in. Now if you're using any other website builder, you can actually go into those um, and look at where the kind of header logo image is. Uh, and then you can up upload that as an SVG. So I hope this helps you. If you want to follow along with any other tech tutorials, make sure you subscribe. Look forward to speaking to you soon.